So what are you running right now? You, I think you mentioned Onyx before. Is that what you've got running on all your systems? Uh, technically, no. Okay. So, so I, ha I have a home server as well. And that's okay. not running Fedora Onyx. Okay, that's running that, Fedora Core OS. That makes sense. But all my all my systems, so my work laptop was actually literally the first time I the first time we started generating OS tree branches mm -hmm. for Onyx. Mm -hmm. I installed Fedora Silverblue and then switched over to the Onyx branch with Budgie Desktop and all that. So that's been running it for. Uh, probably eight months now i don't know how long it's been a thing a uh, personal laptop runs fedora onyx my desktop as of wednesday is running fedora onyx mm -hmm. so i figured out a way that wasn't hacky to actually get budgie desktop to compile and install into a location that's persistent okay. because that's not just your like you can't just blast slash or slash user because that's owned by OS tree, but there's elements of like the var that get mounted to directories that you would recognize as like user local. Mm. And those paths get loaded before the ones in user bin. So that way I could do budgie desktop development on Fedora, Fedora Onyx. And for those that don't know, because who could keep up with Fedora names anymore? I was gonna Fedora oh, so Onyx yeah. is yeah, is the immutable variant. Mm -hmm of fedora budgie spin so mm -hmm. it's the thing that has rpm os tree it has toolbox you know you install your applications through stuff like toolbox or or flatback instead um and uh yeah hopefully it'll be called fedora atomic budgie <laughs> that would be nice either either in this release or in 40 because there's actually some some movement that's been going on, some discussions that have been had okay. about shifting branding to Fedora Atomic again. Uh, and we now have a Fedora Atomic Desktop SIG as well, which is a special interest group. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is, that's led by uh, Timothy Ravier, which say, is one of the developers Gomba. of... <laughs> no, uh, I, I don't he's know if he's in there or not. I, I, he's pro he probably is. If there's a SIG... Just assume Neil's in it. Um, so there, of course, there's that. And then, uh, you know, there's been discussions with the Fedora Workstation slash Fedora Silverblue people as well. So I don't know if the branding for that's going to change. But mm -hmm. um, at the very least, there is hope that you won't have to remember all the super confusing names like Silverblue, Kinoite, Sericea, Onyx. I don't know if there's anything else. I think those, those are the official ones. But then you have unofficial you have ones. Universal which also, Blue. Yeah, which used a similar naming scheme, which is Yup. Yup. <laughs> yup. I look. So so I I, I use Fedora favorite. Atomic Budgie. Mm -hmm. Atomic is it's I get why they originally got rid of it because they wanted to distance like they wanted to distance this immutable thing from like workstation because people have this right or wrong perception of what workstation is and by calling it this other thing it like calling it silver <clears throat> silver blue gave it like this sort of own i guess meaning like that's separate from what fedora normally would right. like make you think about yeah it made sense then uh but... it, it made sense then but now where you have multiple of these variants, yeah. it's like, is it named after a gym or a mineral or is it not? Like, we'll never know. So let's just... Yeah. So my proposal was we would have like something like Fedora Budgie Atomic instead of Fedora Atomic Budgie. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't really care which one we go with. Uh, so, so my line of thinking with Fedora Budgie Atomic is that... At least my viewpoint is when people are installing Fedora with their desktop environment, they're making a conscious choice about that desktop environment first, mm -hmm. and then anything after that is like additional. It's extraneous. So, uh, you know, if they want to choose the Atomic version, it would be the Atomic version of their desktop environment or of that variant, rather than them choosing the operating system and then the technology and then the desktop environment. So but. the non-atomic version is just called Fedora Budgie, yes? 
Yeah, so it's uh, right. Fedora Budgie Spin. But I've read the spin. It's just called Fedora. It's Spin, but yeah, uh, Fedora Budgie is just <clears> what <throat> people call it. So, yeah. I'm sure... I, I agree with what you're saying. Um, I'm sure there's a whole legal discussion they have to have about how they use the Fedora Atomic branding. Yeah. Um, that I That's their problem to work out. Either way... I, I would be happy either way as well. It, Yeah, it's going to make it a lot easier to explain what things actually are, especially if, you know, I don't know, they want to bring something else on, like someone to make like a an atomic version of Mate, for example. Like, you yeah. wouldn't have to come up with some other like weird name to make it fit into this. Yeah, and of course, there there used to be Pantheon in the official Fedora repos too. Mm -hmm. And I know that there were some some problems with that, I think, also centered around Mutter, uh, which probably surprises nobody. So Gala, for those that don't know, which is uh, Pantheon's window manager, is based on top of Mutter. Um, so I don't know. It would be nice to see like a re-inclusion of Pantheon. I know it's more centered around elementary OS, but it's also available in places like Arch. Um, so having it in Fedora again, officially, and having some, some spins, I think would be pretty dope. Because... Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people just want to use a specific desktop environment and they should be able to choose the platform of their choice. You know, if they use like Fedora server or RHEL or something at work, they might want their their own fancy version of it on the desktop. So, mm -hmm. so why is it that you're actually running the immutable spin right now? Why, why'd you go that direction? Uh, dog fooding, for one, um, because... Before. So, so, so dog fooding is a terminology of ba basically I'm testing what I'm working on. Ah, um, okay. So, so I, I'm using it as the current beta. I will continue using it even after it's officially released because we do have the final freeze coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so I like that. I also sort of like some of the safety aspects of it being able to roll back without having to deal with like butterfs snapshots and and all that kind of stuff where i'm just able to pick a particular commit is also really handy for testing because i do the fedora packaging of budgie desktop i will install those and then if i want to clean up my layers i could just revert back to the previous commit of of the os tree uh base image so so that that helps with with development it helps me keep track of what I've installed. Mm -hmm. and it's also sort of forces me in the direction of flat packs and toolbox, which helps me containerize a lot of stuff. And th those obviously can be used outside of Fedora Atomic, but it's like a, a way of not polluting your base system um, with these atomic images. So I primarily use, use it for live development purposes. I use it for quote unquote dog fooding. Um, and it's just it's just badass. I I think it's badass anyways. Uh, I don't I don't know about you. I know a lot of people are just nonplussed about Atomic, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, and I also understand that some people prefer having reproducibility through mm -hmm. stuff like Nix as opposed to immutability, uh, which uh, their reproducibility also has immutability. But without getting too technical, I understand like some people would prefer that. But, um, but yeah, I like the immutability aspect. 